uh, Paul Myers from Marketing for Contractors and Clark Communications up here in North Bay. Listen, I won't take much of your time, but I wanna show you some opportunities uh, that you can take advantage of to get more business. So listen, we spoke back on January the 2nd. I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get back to you, but things have been crazy in our world and uh, we continually help clients get new business. So what I wanna show you is just another way to you for you to throw a fishing line out in the market to capture some new leads to fill your pipeline of prospects. So um, I got a couple of things I wanted to talk to you about. I wanna show you the painting site that I've done for a client here locally. And I wanna show you, of course, your website and, and why it's not getting the leads that you should be getting. So there's a couple of different facets to this. One is organic traffic, which is happens naturally and people find your website and they call you for a paint work. And the other one is uh, paid traffic. And I would suggest both strategies because you need to be able to drive more volume and get more business to keep the crews working. I get it, I know what it's like. I mean, you kind of wonder, okay, where are the deals coming from next month? We give you those leads, we give you those contacts 100% exclusively, so you can reach out to these people and see if you can put deals in place. They'll hit you up for a quote, you go out and quote the job. So if you can, if you can um, close, deals, if your pricing is uh, competitive, if you have people skills and you're good with people and you give them good value, then the leads that we bring to the table will help you close more business. So listen, when I look at your website, and this isn't about poking any holes whatsoever, okay? But when I look at your website, it's not really designed uh, to get you the lead. For example, if I take my mouse and I just hover over this tab, I hover over this tab. It just says McGinn's Paint and Pro Decorators Home. Well, that that's not enough to tell anybody what this site is all about, where it's located. Okay. Um, if I go to About and I click here, it says the same thing about McGinn's Paint and Pro Decorators. If I go to Our Work, it says Our Work, and it's the exact same thing. What I'm getting at, that's the first thing Google sees on the page are what we call title tags. This tag right here, when I hover over it, this is a title tag, that's the first thing they see. Let me show you a site that we built and that's getting uh, lots of traction and brings in business. This one here is North Bay Painting Services. If I hover over this, look at the difference you're seeing. Painting, commercial, residential painters, North Bay, the postal code, the phone number, house painters, painter and decorator. It's a little longer than most and Google truncates it at like 63 characters, but this works. So if I hit up the services tab, see all the different services I have? If I hit commercial, this is different again. Painting contractors, interior painter, commercial painting, again, the address phone number. The postal code is in there, so it's geospecificity and the phone number is there for the area code as well. If I hit up residential painting, same scenario, different keywords. So we're using different keywords in every one of these title tags. This site drives traffic and gets the phone to ring because of the way we set it up. All of this, all these keywords in here are what is uh, what people search for to find your business. Well, we have them in there. Uh, this site gets the lead, gets the traction, gets the results, okay? Again, when I come to your site, there's not enough content on here to make anything happen. For example, Google wants to see words. Words aren't the prettiest things, but if done correctly, you can get a combination of words, keywords in here, and uh, aesthetics, so pictures, graphics, logos, that sort of stuff, and still get the lead and still get the conversions. So the website has to be redone if you want to, if you want to generate organic results, okay? When I do a search, you had mentioned that you wanted to be um, found in Burlington and Oakville. And then you also had mentioned on your site that you were covering areas of GTA, Halton and Peel. So there's a bit of a conflict there. I think you wanted to move more towards Burlington and Oakville. Um, you said GTA and I said, well, listen, you should try to narrow that down. Um, but you could have pages uh, built out for each of those areas and those pages will rank separately, right? So um, the most important thing is when I came back here and to do searches, okay, this is searching residential painting, commercial painting, and pro painters. 
So this is for the month of January 2018. There was over 2,200 total um, searches for those three keywords in Burlington and Oakville only. Just those two areas, there was over 2,200 searches. 1,000 of them happened on mobile. This is where I'm going to insert a quick video right here at the top, somewhere in here, about your mobile um, about your website and what it looks like on mobile. It really needs to be uh, adjusted on mobile because the call to action, the click to call the phone number isn't present. And if someone hits your site, you have to make the guest experience as simple and beautiful as possible to get that lead. So um, I would suggest um, taking a look. What I'll do is I'll put that little video I made up. I'll put it at the end of this video. Um, so you can see what I mean by your by your mobile uh, website, okay? So in February, uh, 2,400 searches total, uh, 25. So you've got about 2,500 searches every single month in those two areas, Burlington and Oakville for residential painting, commercial painting, and pro painters. Okay, you're not being found for because your website isn't set up correctly. I'm not throwing stones, I'm just telling you the truth, okay? So the website has to be set up properly <coughs> in order for it to rank. But also, we drive and use and leverage Google and Facebook to drive paid traffic to uh, a landing page that converts, that gets you the lead. So listen, what we do, we provide 100% exclusive leads to one or two contractors per area, okay? So we don't take the leads that we get from you and then job them out to another guy. They're all your leads if we're working with you. But I can only work with someone that wants to grow their business. So if, if you if you can't invest two to 25 to three grand a month uh, in your business to get more business, then, then this fit won't work. Uh, you have to understand in order to grow a business, you need to spend money to market that business. You got to get the name out there. You got to do things right. Otherwise, you're just relying on referrals and you're keeping your fingers crossed that maybe somebody will find my website. Um, <clears throat> but in that niche, there's many people doing a much better job at communicating through their website <coughs> with proper title tags, proper meta descriptions, proper call to actions, and all of those things. So I'm not full of shit. I know how to get leads. You found us and you hit this page. This is Marketing for Contractors. You can look at this case study for this kitchen guy where we bring him 10 to 12 leads a month and he converts one to three new kitchens every month. I'll show you, you know, car companies. These are all the leads we bring in for car companies. Um, and this goes on and on. This is uh, a weight loss program, much shorter. We just started this nine days ago. This is a mortgage company where we bring these guys mortgage leads. So look, we know what we're doing, but we need to work with people who are hungry, who understand that you have to build a pipeline of prospects so that you kind of know what you have to work with next month. Um, we do the same thing. So we run paid traffic to, that's how you found us. You clicked on an ad on Facebook that brought you to this landing page with all these case studies and all this information. So now I have your information to be able to contact you. This is how marketing works. This is the real uh, impact you can make on digital marketing, so online marketing. So again, I'm not here to poke holes in your current website. I'm sh I just wanna show you that there's so much more you can do to be able to be found organically. So when someone is in those areas that you want, Burlington or Oakville, and types in res residential painter, residential painting, uh, residential pro, uh, pro painter, or residential pro professional painters, you wanna be found organically, the top two or three results. Okay, um, and that's what we can help you with. So we can help you get found organically. We can also run uh, a landing page similar to this. This is just a, if you notice, there's no nav bar. There's no about us. There's no services. This is a single, <coughs> sorry, I think I have a tickle in my throat. This is a single landing page. We can build out a landing page, run paid traffic to it, get you the leads, get you some information to fill out this and get you numbers and, and people to speak to. So. I'm, I'm pretty excited because I've been doing this for a few years now and I know how to get the lead. I know how to get the conversion. I just need someone who's hungry that understands that they have to invest in themselves and in their business if they want to take it to the next level. 
we're here to help, man. So listen, uh, hit reply. I won't chase you. Uh, this will be the, f the, f the final email video I send. Uh, I won't be chasing you after this one. So if you're interested, uh, hit me back. I want to work with one person in your area. If it's not you, I'll find somebody else because I, I love working in bigger markets. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate your time, Eddie, and we'll talk soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, good morning. Uh, this is just simply a display on my iPhone 7 Plus of what your site currently looks like. And really what we want here is a simple and easy way to get a hold of you. They're on their mobile device. Uh, give, it, give them the best user experience possible. Right here at the top, we should have a phone number. What you have the client doing is scrolling through this stuff and then they have to click this moving icon, which I think is kind of buggy to actually get to the page where they can click the phone number. So right off the bat, I would change that to have that number right up in here, maybe underneath the top part where it says McGinn's Paint and Pro Decorators. That's where I'd have the phone number. The hamburger here is okay. That what works you through the different places, but you want to make it simple and easy. Let me show you a site we created in the painting niche in North Bay, and I'll show you the difference, okay? So that's the home page. You see the difference? I can click the number. I immediately have a call to action. I immediately have a way to get a hold of you. Everything is clickable. Everything, allow call. Everything I'm touching. So I'm touching the phone number up top. I'm touching the call now in the middle. I'm touching the click to dial. Everything is about calling you, getting you the business. Your website, mobile website, needs to be changed. You're missing and losing business because of that. If you also notice here, this is all the different keywords that people will use to search for you. This is all the content that people are looking for. Email, form, submit, click to dial, allow call. Uh, this is set up to be a winner when it comes to mobile. And again, more than half of your traffic is coming in on the mobile device. So again, the very thing you want on the very top of your website for the mobile edition is to make sure it's 100% mobile friendly and make sure that you have the call to action. The whole idea behind a website uh, is to get business. Well, let's make the user experience the easiest possible for the consumer. So let's make it more friendly.